He's a foreman of a mine. Used to have a pickaxe himself. The Halalu owners put him in charge since the he cares the most about working hard and the least about miners. You'll find him somewhere deeper in the mine. Speak, traveler. <laughs> well? Netchgar Scrib, ah! They're burning. They're drowning. Pray to the mother. I never looked back. Killed that het man and never looked back. I know the look in your eyes. Flash of emerald green. I know. Saint and reborn. What do you want with me? Okay, I'm listening. So he's tied up. I see. Come on, boy. Any time now. Demo, be careful around this mine. We dug up a cursed and oral artifact. I guess maybe I should see if it's considered magical. Is there something you need? This is the Etena Egg Mine. We're working on expanding. Curse door artifact. The workers stumbled into an old underground door of ruin some days ago while trying to dig out a larger lair for the Kwama Queen. Wrath Roaring is littered with these with the things. Usually not a problem. We just dig around the ruins or put more supports. But then they found this thrice damn bold and got it into their heads that it's cursed. Now this bunch of fools are scared and will dig further. Didn't a miner go insane? Bah, I ain't saying the bulls not got something funny to it. But the others are overreacting. Iblar, the superstitious coward took it to his head to start acting all funny. Let me tell you, he'll snap out of it just in time to get a good thrashing. But the digging needs to speed up, so I need someone to get rid of the damn bull. It's a simple job, but these disobedient slouches aren't helping. Will you? I'll pay you good money. <clears throat> Why won't you move it yourself? Um... Move the ball myself? I am a fireman with larger duties to keep this whole operation working, not haul eggs and doil trinkets. This is work for the for the workers. You're scared you can lead by example. They are scared. Sounds like excuses to me. This is none of your business. If you don't want the job, you can get out of my mind. Okay, where's the plate? Let's see what crazy shit happens to me. Oh, dome. Hey, Mrs. Queen. Guess it's not this way, it's the other way. Okay, let's see what happens. Pick up the ancient bowl. Oh, here we go. The journal has been updated. Okay. After picking up the cursed bowl, I heard an eerie sound and felt the strangest feeling. There is something off about the egg mine now.
Hey, let's see. Quack Barar of ill will, your clan will soon be ash. Okay, maybe I shouldn't kill him. I have a feeling that... Yeah. Surrender now and I might let you live. Maybe I have gone crazy. Your Let mind. me just go outside and drop this off somewhere. Right, well, enjoy you this. Can. I think I've been hitting the school a little too hard. What manner of enemy approaches with the vessel? Are you the Basmus Brasmer or the savage spawn of Yesmer? I cannot see you clearly. No matter, my soul wanes, but I grow happy that you have tasted thy vengeance. Feed here at the last stand of my war band. Yes, in this small hamlet of Dusura, my mighty Dora wizard band, war band met its last. We were sent out by the Horde of Tor to secure the loss against the enemies of the Chimer. We fought with honor, but we blindsided by the treacherous convenience of our enemies. Our band was mighty, and its success frightened the enemies of the lost folk. They thus formed an unholy alliance and cornered us in this village. The Nords set upon the left flank with their wicked blades, while the Deep Ones and their foul constructs preyed on our right. There was little defense against the blasphemous of brass and iron. All my band was slaughtered. I was alone to remain, but I would have vengeance. I beseech Malak, beseech Malak, and the god of curses grant the three boons. The skill to spin a splendid bowl, the knowledge to cast an odious hex, and the patience to wait for the return of my enemies. Yes, I waited long. Even after hill shook, I turned over and covered the sun. But finally, you came, enemy. And how splendid was your mind turned against you? Tell me, did you slay the treacherous apparitions of your comrades? I spared them. No, how did you resist my lax curse? Your will runs strong, foe. It seems my wit, my weight was in vain then. I have spent all the power that was given to me in keeping hold of your mind. I will fade now, but who will remember a last campaign? Curse you. Okay. It's quick. Okay, heading back to Antarathrin. We managed to help out the egg miners. Luckily, I didn't kill everyone there. So we're back in Antarathrin. We cleared up the cursed artifact situation, the egg mine. Didn't May even you kill find anybody. Me worthy of your Welcome attention. back, Eladan. Do you wish you do business? I don't have any more business for you. Try asking in Valmora or Vivek on Vardenfell. If you're passing by the Oran Plantation, Ulvu Hilari may also have some work. Or if you find yourself in Holland Oak, try talking to the governor, Feldril Sathis. Oram Plantation. Where is Oram Plantation? I'm not lost for what to do now. I guess 
Aram Plantation is where I should go next to continue the Halalu quest lines here. Let me quickly go to the Thebes Guild and drop off some gear. Most of the pauldrons are bugging me in my inventory. Okay, I'll take a little walk south, I guess. The Olin Plantation. What happened here? Seems like someone was capsized here. Take a look over here. What's this? I was just approaching around plantation. Oh, did not want to eat a pearl. Sorry. Let's go down, take a little look. Oh, there's an entrance to an underground cave of some sort. I do have some water breathing potions, so let's see if I can go in. Should get my helmet of Drew. Although it doesn't highlight me uses, I need something better. What is this, a barrier chamber? The Drew making some sort of ritualistic chamber down here. Bone mold armor, I don't really care about. Oh, there's something magical over this way. I'm away. Can't really see anything. Oh, there's a water breathing potion. Oh, can this detect potions too? Cool. Aerial still boots. What are you doing half buried in the ground? I guess I can't use bows on the water. Nervous. One cabin door. There to be a second exit here. If not, I'm gonna be in trouble.
What is this place? It's like a little hidden oasis of some sort with a diatric ruin in it. Oh, this. This looks juicy. Isle of Dusk. Well, it seems to be an Azura temple. Isle of Dawn. Broken halls. Let's go into broken halls first. Heal up a little bit. Is there anybody here? Be someone. Looks like a ghost. Like see through. So I just went around in circles. Okay. Oh, you. Are you friendly? This is I don't know where to begin. It is such an honor to meet you. Oh, you are not one of us, yet you are not unwelcome. May Azura paint your heart with blessful colors, Pilgrim. Join us. Rejoice with us. I am Maomu Seirano, a humble servant of Azura. This is our shrine, a sanctuary from the evils of the outside world. Looks like you're a ghost. One would have to be dead to be a ghost, and yet I am still here, serving Lady Azura. Therefore, I cannot be dead. Walk the paths of bliss and tell no lies of Rangalo. Sure. What is the path of bliss? Are you just going to follow ghosts? Hey buddy, where'd you go? Oh, I missed, I missed something, didn't I? I missed something. Well, there's nothing really there, unfortunately. 
if they figure out later how to open up the locked doors inside the Diedric ruins of Dusk and Dawn. Meanwhile, I'm just gonna get off this hill. Oh, look at you. Just standing there. Stupid. Well, might as well go in now. That tiki torch. Oh, I can light it. Mad Eye the Dead. I wonder how mad I got up there. Man, I must have been stuck for a very long time. Here's the door. One weird stereo system they have going. So here. Bone dancer on that. I'm sure I agree with how they use the music on this level. It's weird to hear it like coming out of a statue, I guess. That's all? Okay. I thought that was gonna be cooler, I have to admit. Like they could just end the room there.
head over to the Oren Plantation, finally. Enough of these distractions. Something to go further south, apparently. So we're finally here in the go ahead, plantation. Hannah. What do you need? Let's see what we can do to help around. The Oren Manor. I will listen, Outlander, but make it quick. Welcome to Oren Manor, home of the most honorable council elector, Atran Oran. Councillor Elector Oran receives his guests in the atrium. I'm listening. Go ahead. Is that... I hope that... Yes? That's just a, say, a, a me phrase, not... I don't know. Receives his guests in the atrium. Whatever you want. Within reason. I will listen, Outlander. What was that? Make it quick. Here we are. May I help you? Atron Aran. I welcome you under my roof, Oathman. I am Atran Aran, Counselor Elector of the Council Company, and Master of this Plantation. What is it you want? Do you have any business for me? If you want to talk business, speak with Ulvu Halari. He is normally in the Plantation's vault, likely with his nose stuck in a ledger. Okay, well, great meeting you, sir. You have a lovely Plantation. Keep up the good work. So we're going to the vault. Happy to help. What's your problem? Is there Ulvu something Halari. I can do for you? Greetings, I am Ulvu Halari, the advisor of the counselor Atran Oran. Are you here to discuss business? Yes, I am. I need some reliable, someone reliable to, to conduct a charter negotiation on behalf of the plantation. I've recently constructed an East Empire Company ship, the Glintering Moth, to transport our Conberry upriver. The usual charter, all very standard and usually all very reliable. However, its captain, Palatina Pruntus, refuses to unmoor the ship and demands a negotiation of her charter due to the tolls from the temple having increased or some other nonsense like that. Head to the ship in Almastir and find out what's going on. Get Platina to honor the contract and get the goods moving. Okay. What can you tell me about the Glintering Moth? It's docked somewhere in Amastir. Follow the road south until you reach the town, then ask around to find the ship. What can you tell me about yourself? Well, I am I. Now try to run. I've known the counselor like for years. He started out as a pit fighter in Narciss. Did you know that? Those early days hun hardened him both in body and spirit with cunning and determination, Sir Joe. Aran clawed his way up from those humble beginnings and earned his position with An House Hulalu. Today his political influence extends all the way to Indothrin in the north. House Indora will not be a match for him. Charter Negotiation Tell me when you've achieved some results in that, Oathman. 
How'd that get there? Yes, I'll let it. Take a look. What do you want? Man, I could just like pick up some of your goods from here. Oh, I will be back. Thank you. <laughs> oh, I have a beautiful vault I want to steal from. And I will do it. So we're back. We were here at the Oran Foundation and have been tasked with a quest to head over to Almasthere, find the boat called the Glinting Moth, and convince them to get the shipment moving towards Oran Plantation. And I'm just going to use my Ring of Divine Intervention. Oh, no, but it needs to be Almasthere Intervention. Here. So, I'm not sure where it's going to drop me. I'm either going to end up in Undothrin or in Almasthere. Either way is fine. Almasthere. Perfect. Okay, where would this boat be? Oh, it's south. Oh, oh, here it is. Okay, so let's head over to the east side of Almasthere. Oh, we've arrived at the Glinting Mouth. I'm guessing I need to go to the captain's quarters. Anytime now. Oh, hello, madam. Didn't mean to point my crossbow at you. You hear about the Ram Plantation shipment? There's some charter negotiation we need to address. Okay, madam, perfect. Let me put on my negotiation perfume. And maybe I can even practice my charm skill with you. Don't shoot her. Okay, negotiation charter. So Ubo sent you. Well, you can give my polite apologies to the mayor, but I'm not shifting any of the Ram Plantation's goods. Shifting? Shipping? No? Until we're fairly renegotiated. This charter... The Temple River tolls my apologies. The tithes they set at the Hall of the Tributes have climbed up significantly. It's not worth my while unless I'm reimbursed properly. You're risking all your business with House Lalu. You wouldn't dare. You Lalu needs the East Empire Company. It's merchant shipping more than we need your Comberry bundles. But I suppose I'm not going to test that today. The old who know I'll honor the charter as written, but I'll tell him not to expect me to run another shipment on these items, on these terms. Okay. So we've managed to get that done for the Auron Plantation. Uh, but now I need to walk back up there. you so much just don't look at it all right finally back at Oran plantation now, who the hell did i have to talk to is there something you need i'm not busy now what do you need? remember who the hell gave me this quest may i help you? Anything is there something you need just interesting Oh, yeah, it's this guy, I remember. Yes, sir. Hello, Ulvo. What do you want? Have you managed to conduct the charter negotiation? Good work, Orth man. 
take a share of what she was demanding and perhaps a taste of where the conberry ends up here. Something for the sellers. Do you want to discuss more business? Yeah, do you have more business? I am a very I am very busy at the moment. If you're eager to undertake some jobs at this state, I'd suggest speaking to Devuru Dallas. She's an agent here in the plantation, usually found in the courtyard rather than attending to her duties. She knows I expect what I expect to be done. Okay. Well, yes, I was been. not what part of House Lalu. Oh, it's you. I Can will I be help stealing you? all of this. I'll come back later. Keep it on my thieves' mental checklist. So yeah, for now I think I'm gonna head up to Andothrin. Drop off some goods. Is there some? Hello, Shay. Greetings, honored friend. First, you follow the Cameron Road south until you come by Burial Mound. You know it by the flags and the Munma Five corpses that rest there. One of them, poor devils, holds onto a spear. If no one ain't touched it, the spear will point to the right way. Follow that trail towards the mountains until you see two cross trees. Look through the trees and you'll see a spot where fire ferns grow. The silver is buried in the box there. You'll need a shovel. I already have the shovel, so let's go. So first I'll take a transport to Arvun to go look for this Lalu buried silver. We Oh, it's why you. walk when you can what ride. Are you doing up can here? I help you? Can I help you? So Menan, I think, and then Arvun. We make a special trip just for you. Same low price. We make a special trip just for you. Same low price. Just to double check. We need to follow the south route until I come to a barrier mount. Did not want to land down here. Outlander. Outlander. My time is exit of this damn town. Here we go, this must be it. Take a little stroll south. Or find the burial mound. No hop and a skip and a jump. This should be like. Is that a burial mound? Let's only check it out. Okay, okay. Mummies. One of them has a spear. What the hell was that sound? So let me know for sure that I'm at the right place. Okay, so I guess we're just heading east. This a trail through the mountains? Maybe I didn't... Let me go in here either way. Oh, 
looks like raiders vampires isn't it you're growing weak Where am i hey <laughs> the hammer away from me oh smugglers Let's take my ball. Nothing worthwhile. more magical arrows I was like selling those ironing it stealing it To get my armor skill up. Anybody else home? Go down first. Hundred and fifty Viper arrows. Why not? Sure, I'll take those. So I should always just drink those cheap restore magic potions. Bug mask. Ah, gold. That's worth it. Getting a little heavy. Probably have to end up dropping this dam, ironing it, and stealing it. We go into the smuggler's den. These smugglers don't seem to be really concerned with guarding their lair.
Well, they locked your kitchen at least. Should lock the front door. I have the upper hand. Oh, oh you have a crossbow ah. too. Battle of the crossbows. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna have to drop these steel and get the iron and get it's not worth it. Way too heavy. Sugar. Fire spark bowl. We'll take those. Well, it looks like I'm going to get a bunch of restock for my bar. At the Thieves Guild and Andothrin. Oh, out of right, Bracer and left Bracer. I'll take a good look over here. Didn't expect to find that. There's someone above me. Now you die. Sorry, right, madam. <clears throat> And let's make sure no one else is alive up here. No gambling area, like it. Well, a free action. I don't know why I'm bothering picking up these little coins. Ooh. Back a little pipe. Warhide Curious. What's in here? Skuma, of course. I don't know how they make a living off Skuma. Doesn't seem really worth it. They can make more money just selling brandy. I guess they do. It's just part of the trade. Jaga. Koya. Imperial arrows.
Oh, is this a new type of skooma pipe? Cool. Let me see something. There seems to be like enchanted items. This is some under it? Must be in the barrel. Oh, that looks like that's the last of the smugglers. You know, I didn't go direct east. Let me go back, double check this. I'm gonna stay on the hill? No. Yeah, I'm just gonna stay up on the hill this time and keep going. And you see a man smoking this heck of a pipe here. Damn you. Render foe. Okay, yeah, I'm guessing this is the path. Although it doesn't look like a path. Are those supposed to be the cross trays? You stop digging after your shovel hits a wooden box. Oh, ho, 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 the gold. 
Damn. Now I'm just super over encumbered. Does this guy want me to bring him back some? I don't know, either way, I'm... I'm one recall out of here. Eleven silver ingot. That's pretty good. A nice little stock of change right there. Okay, let me drop off all my stuff again. Damn it. Oh, I just sorted all my loot. And I remembered I have to go do the quest for Rowdy. My fellow Thieves Guild member. To give the amulet to the man he stabbed. Back to the man he stabbed for it. So we're going to head quickly to Ebonheart. Although Ebonheart can't be reached via Stealth Strider. So lo let me go down to the docks. Some place around here is the Hostel of Stindar's Mercy. Why do you approach? Head on. Why do you ask? Do you have something to say, Bosmer? Eyes on. Um, I don't know how to say this, but you remember when some guy stabbed you? Yes, there was an incident here. Many years ago, a young dark elf caught me with a knife and ran away. Thankfully, the wound wasn't difficult to mend. But like I said, it happened ages ago. How did you know to ask about this? Give him the stolen amulet. Roma sent me. He is sorry for what he did. So the boy's name was Rilmas. And you are a friend of his? Well, I thank you for delivering his apology and for returning the amulet. I had all but forgotten it was stolen. You may tell young Rilmas that I've long since forgiven him. Sindar's creed is that of mercy. After all, he sh should he ever wish to talk to me face to face, I will welcome him gladly. And here, take this loaf of bread to him. I seem to remember to have promised him the bread. Had he come back later, I would hate to break that promise. Aww. That's very sweet. Let's go see what Roma says. Probably gonna drink some sajama out of the bread and cry himself to sleep. Back at the Thieves Guild, let's see what Mr. Rowdy Romas has to say about the gift of bread I'm bringing him. This one honors us. Please, speak. Welcome to False Keys Bar. Want a drink? I've got all sorts of nice beverages, including my very own moonshine. Stab the man. Spit it out, Eladan. What did he, the priest say? I bet he cursed my name, didn't he? Aizan has forgiven you. He also wants you to have this bread. I don't know what to say. I was a damn sure he'd hate my guts. He really has forgiven me. And the bread. I didn't expect that kind, this kind of, of kindness from him. Thank you, Eladan. You've done me a solid service. Maybe I'll go and talk to the priest one of these days. Now please give me a moment alone. I think I've got something in my eye all of a sudden. Oh, Rowdy Romas is just a softy. 